science, technology, engineering and maths, that's the foundation of our future. That's where we can design solutions to these really complex problems that we're facing. Being involved in a STEM pathway really helps you understand the world around you. You may never work in a STEM field, but at least you then have that understanding so you can make informed decisions. Students who study STEM and study it in an interdisciplinary way actually develop not only the discipline skills that they require, but they also develop all of those other things that go with that. Things like being able to think critically and creatively. Things like being able to be entrepreneurial. Things like being able to be a problem solver. All of those are the skills that really make studying STEM such an amazing opportunity. My school is very interdisciplinary focused and so you get to experience all different aspects of STEM and different opportunities in life. It pushes that different type of environment that allows you to exceed and so even if you think you want to, for example, become a doctor but you learn more engineering in a class, you might want to change your pathway because you really enjoy doing this subject. Our students, they can access information on any subject in a way that when we went to school was not possible. And so providing them with the skills and abilities to look at that information, select what's useful for them, and then produce something that they can communicate and share with others, I think is at the heart of where we need to be. I think a really good STEM teacher is someone who has a lot of knowledge in the topics that they're teaching. They're very passionate and motivated in it so they can share that passion to you. A lot of the teachers have had past careers in STEM fields, which also means you can really relate to them in some ways and they can really help inspire you to find something you're truly passionate about. We need our educators to find the space and the time to get to know their students first. If you can have that relationship with your student, you can actually ask them to tell you what they love and how they think that that passion could be incorporated into the learning environment that supports the curriculum. In the SMS, the self-directed learning is definitely one of the most obvious difference from other schools. And in this school that teachers and the students, the relationships between them have really helped the students to achieve more since they're more personal and not just very distant. STEM and innovation, they sort of go hand in hand. Both of them are toolkits and when combined, you could do something really special in terms of making an impact, not only here in South Australia, but in Australia and internationally. We want the students to be learners. We want the students to have entrepreneurial mindsets. And I think the best way to do that is being that ourselves. One of the challenges of teaching is that you are in the education system, but you're trying to prepare them for something that is not the education system. So we need to really have a little bit of a glimpse on what that world looks like. So getting out there, doing things that are outside of the teaching world, it's actually really beneficial because you can bring all of that into the classroom. You can bring whatever knowledge and skills you gain outside of teaching to guide what it is that the students will need. Whenever I hear about new exciting opportunities that I might be able to take part in, I really enjoy being able to do that and that allows me to not just change what I'm focusing on but really grow in those areas. The biggest successes that I see connected with students are just when you see them working in class and they encounter a new problem and they seem unsure how to do it and think that they can't. But then with a little encouragement, you see them start to make connections. So with that, there's never one big success, but I think you see lots of little successes all the time where you realise someone has realised that they can do things for themselves, they can solve this problem and they can then solve any problem. ASMS is a great example of what education of the future looks like for our students. It's really around we are learners in this together, having wicked problems that they want to solve together, challenging each other and actually loving that challenge of problem-based approach to learning. When I grew up I was taught to solve problems and I was taught to seek jobs. What we are facing now is a world where we want to teach our children to find problems and create jobs. And that, I think, is where STEM provides this amazing foundation for us to actually change the entire way that we think about the world. I think we're in a really interesting time when entrepreneurial mindset and skill sets is needed in every organisation. And some people look at entrepreneurial mindset and think about it from a financial perspective, but actually it's about better. You have someone who comes with an entrepreneurial mindset, they might look at a job they're doing and go, there's actually a better way to get a better outcome for the client that I'm working with if we did it this way. 
We need students to have skills to be innovators because they're our change makers. They've already seen us make all the mistakes with all the information that we have in our hands, so they know how to make it better and what doesn't work. I have really loved and enjoyed working with entrepreneurial education because I can see the change that it does and the impact that it has on teachers and students. So with teachers, I think that the biggest change they experience is the engagement from the students. And with students is the feeling of empowerment that their learning can be a tool for them to succeed. When you want to think about your future options, don't be limited by what somebody tells you. The best advice that I ever heard an astronaut give to young people is do what you love and then move your career towards the next step. Even if you don't get some aspect of that career, you're still doing things that you love and your passion can take you a lot of places. Knowing that I or that any individual has the capability to really go and just make a big change like that is what's exciting to me. It's what, you know, inspires me.